day five campers. Oh, you can probably see my campsite is behind me here. It's uh, 740. Oh, my butt still hurts. That is a big bull moose. A big bull. Let's see him come out of the water. Yeah, he's kind of coming towards me. I don't really like that. That you're coming towards me, big bull. Paddling through the narrows into Nice Lake.
WCA Wilderness. South Lake. It's a cold one this morning. Temps are in the 20s. All wild rice. Floating. Eat launch. Charging my weather radio. Batteries are running low, especially after 23 degrees last night or whatever we got down to. Getting some food in me. That wind is cold. I'm on Mountain Lake. And I'm ahead of pace. There's Moose Lake. East end of the boundary water, Vento unit. Oh man, I've had to paddle some big, long lakes today. I've had to do some big, long portages. I just paddled around the corner and find, found my home for the night amongst a bunch of cedar trees. I'll show you my campsite. Check out this cool, cool fire grate. This isn't a fire grate, this is a hearth. It's built up around both sides and it's surrounded on three sides by benches. I mean, this is nuts. And you take a breath and it smells like the inside of a sauna. It's going well. This trip has been fun and it's continuing on. I'm going to get a fire going in this fire grate, I think, if I can muster up enough wood. Definitely make some dinner. Maybe go out and fish a little tonight's dinner. The Mexican quinoa bowl, butternut squash and black beans and a mole po poblano sauce. I only got one coffee pouch left, so I'm having <laughs> hot Gatorade. <laughs> so uh, I was hiking in the woods back behind my site where I heard this trickle of water. And there's water trickling down through here. You can't see it there. But if you look up there, there's water running down. I mean, how cool is this? Anybody in the mood for a boundary water shower? That's the Canadian shoreline, and it is just lit up golden with the sun set. Oh, good morning. Day seven. Beautiful sunrise on Moose Lake. Burning off the fog that's on the lake. Breakfast in the woods. Now my buddy Scotty taught me this one a couple years back. If you want to liven up your oatmeal, break up some dried mango bits. Throw those in there. Ooh, stir them in. Eat these delicious.
Adios. Beautiful mountain lake campsite. There's the dam, the start of the Pigeon River. This is the infamous Fowl Portage. It's a mile long, full of mud, full of muck. Full of blowdowns, not maintained at all. But let's make it fun, baby. Let's make it fun. halfway on the foul portage. Uh, feeling pretty good. Can't imagine bringing a big canoe through here. Four person canoe. Mud, mud, mud. Oh, I went way down in that one. Embrace the suck. <laughs> oh God, I love this shit. I can't believe these 90 degree turns. Ooh, I went about mid shin deep on that one. Oh, I see water. <laughs> oh, the reward at the end of the suck. Whoa, slip down that hill. The Pigeon River. Look at my boots. Can you see those? Let's go wash them off. Oh. Border, ladies and gents. Canada is on the left, the United States is on the right. And the Pigeon River is the final stretch of border. And I'm gonna paddle down it for about 12 miles. 
boulder coming right at me. All right, last day. I'm at Fort Charlotte. Got everything packed up and ready to go. We're up and running. It's time to do the Grand Portage. Let's head up the trail. All right. Plugging along on Grand Portage. This is one of the really nicer stretches of trail. Still feeling pretty good. Although I've heard that the Grand Portage can inspire grand mood swings morale is high i am plowing through this thing feeling good i'm probably approaching halfway i know i'm past four miles crooked bridge oh, still feeling pretty good shoulders are toast but they're still there so they will carry no cars <laughs> 